Hi guys, this is Vijay and I hope you are doing well. In this video lecture, we will discuss the concept of entropy and uh, Clausius theorem. Let us start with concept of entropy. Thermodynamics uh, basically contains four law known as zeroth law, first law, second law and third law of thermodynamics. The zeroth law deals with the thermal equilibrium and uh, establish a concept of temperature. The first law throws the light on concept of internal energy. The second law indicates the limit of converting heat into work and uh, introduce the uh, principle of increase of entropy. And uh, third law defines the absolute zero of entropy. These laws are uh, based on uh, experimental observation and uh, have no mathematical proof. Like all physical laws, these laws are uh, based on uh, logical reasoning. In fact, thermodynamics is a study of three E's, namely energy, equilibrium and entropy. Entropy is a measure of the degree of disorderness of the system. Entropy the measure of thermal energy of system per unit temperature that is unavailable for doing useful work. Because uh, work is obtained from ordered molecule motion, the amount of entropy is also a measure of uh, molecular disorder or randomness of a system. In heat engine theory, the term entropy plays a vital role and uh, leads to important uh, results which by other methods can be obtained much more laboriously. It may be noted that all heat is not equally valuable for converting into work. Heat that is supplied to a substance at high temperature has a greater possibility of conversion into work than heat supplied to a substance at a lower temperature. Entropy is a function of a quantity of heat which shows the possibility of conversion of that heat into work. The increase in entropy is small when uh, heat is added at a high temperature and is uh, greater when heat addition is made at lower temperature. Thus, for maximum entropy, there is a minimum availability of conversion into work and for minimum entropy, there is a maximum availability of conversion into work. Uh, now, we will prove that for a closest theorem, the cyclic integration of delta Q uh, by T is equal to 0. So, for any reversible process, we are considering original cycle and uh, here we draw the PV diagram for that particular cycle. Let a smooth closed cow representing a reversible cycle be considered. Let a closed cycle is divided into large number of strip by means of reversible adiabatics. Okay, here you can see that these all are the reversible adiabatics. So, the original cycle is replaced by large number of strips. Each strip may be closed at the top and bottom. Each strip may be closed at top and bottom by reversible isotherm. These are the reversible isotherms. Okay. The original cycle is thus replaced by a zigzag closed path consisting of alternative adiabatics and isothermal processes such that the heat transfer during all isothermal process is equal to the heat transfer in the original cycle. So, thus the original cycle is replaced by a large number of Carnot cycle. These all are the individual Carnot cycle. Okay. And uh, here we replace it instead of original cycle. If the adiabatics are close to one another and number of Carnot cycle is large, the sawtooth zigzag line will coincide with the original cycle. For the elemental cycle A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Here we are considering DQ1, it is the heat supplied or heat absorbed reversibly at temperature T1 and DQ2, it is the heat rejected reversibly at temperature T2. So, DQ1 it is a heat supply and DQ2, it is the heat rejected for ABCD cycle, Carnot cycle. From Kelvin temperature scale, we can write delta QH1 upon Th1 equal to delta Q L1 upon T L1. Here, delta Q suffix H1, it will represent the heat supplied at higher temperature and T L1 means it is the heat rejected at lower temperature side. So, here we are considering two temperature and two reservoir and heat supplied is delta Q H1 
and here the heat rejected is QL1 or we can say DQ2 at a temperature TL1 or we can say T2. So from Kelvin scale delta QH1 upon TH1 equal to delta QL1 upon TL1. In thermodynamics we are considered heat uh, supplied is considered as a positive sign and heat rejected is considered as a negative sign. For example, uh, whenever we supply the heat in case of a boiler, so at that time we are considering plus sign for heat supply and uh, in case of a chimney, the heat carried by exhaust gases uh, which is rejected in the atmosphere, so it is considered as a negative. So in thermodynamic, uh, in which system its supply will be there, it is considered as a positive and it rejected is considered as a negative sign. So here we are considering DQ1 or we can say uh, D delta QH1, it is the heat supplied and it is considered as a positive sign. And here for particular cycle ABCD or Carnot cycle, DQ2, it is the heat rejected or we can say DQ delta QL1. Okay. So here we uh, applied the sign, so this term will become negative because this is the heat loss and this is the positive sign and uh, whenever it is shifted from right, right hand side to left hand side, so it is equal to 0. So delta QH1 upon TH1 plus delta QL1 upon TL1 equal to 0. Similarly, for the elemental cycle EFGH. Okay, now we are considering second Carnot cycle. Okay, uh, in previous slide we have already discussed the original cycle is replaced by number of Carnot cycle. Here we are considering number of strips. So similarly for second cycle, EFGH, EFGH. Okay, here we are considering heat supplied is uh, heat supplied is DQH2, or we can say uh, DQ3 and heat rejected is DQ4 or we can say DQ, delta Q L2. Okay, this is the heat supplied and this is the heat rejection. Here you can also write delta Q3 instead of uh, delta H2, delta Q H2 and here you can uh, also write delta Q L2 instead of uh, DQ4. If similar equations are written for all the elemental Carnot cycle, then for the whole original cycle uh, it is uh, written as delta QH1 upon TH1 plus delta QL1 upon uh, TL1 for first Carnot cycle. This is for second Carnot cycle plus dot 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 means number of Carnot cycle. Here we are considering series of strip. Okay. So uh, this is the uh, equation for uh, whole cycle. So uh, the cyclic integration of delta Q by T for a reversible cycle is 0. This is known as closest theory. Here uh, suffix R represent uh, the reversible cycle. So the letter emphasis that the equation is valid only for reversible cycle. Thank you friends for watching this video.